Welcome back my friends here on Will Edutech and I must say today it's it's a very good day being a Jamaican. Uh, we had two of our top athletes or two of my fellow countrymen uh, participating in the Rome Samsung Diamond League and today's date is May 31st 2012. Now what we'll be doing in this video we're going to be calculating uh, the both men Usain Bolt here on my right and Asafa Powell's average speed over a hundred meter dash that they participated in today. Well, for your information, uh, Bolt won the race. He ran he ran approximately nine point seven six seconds, and Asafa Powell ran nine point nine one seconds. And I must make mention that that was done in a negative zero point one meters per second headwind. All right, now. So basically let's quickly get into this but before I move I must uh, show respect to the author's work uh, this picture of Asafa here on my left the source I, I got these pictures of Wikipedia and the author of Asafa's picture is Shell Hill and the author of Usain's picture is Eric Van Loo. what I'm saying here now my friends the graph uh, the race that both men run can be graphed okay so let's just quickly pull up our graph to show you how uh, the distance over the time would look. Now this is my graph and if you notice on my x-axis I have here the time is in seconds there's a s there and on my y-axis I would have my distance and my distance is in meters and if you notice that the distance there that both men traveled was a hundred meters or all, all right now let's just quickly uh, move for example, let's just make a quick note of their times, okay? As I said before, the, this race was done um, in a negative 0 0.1 meters per second uh, wind, all right? Now, Bolt ran, let me just make a quick note of his time. Bolt ran a 9.76 seconds, okay? 76 seconds. And Powell ran, let's just make a quick note here, Powell, Powell ran 9.7, sorry, 9.91 seconds, okay? Seconds, so that's the time it took both men to complete the 100 meter dash. So let's look at their average speed. This is pretty interesting. Let's look at the average speed that both men uh, traveled over this distance. Now, basically, my friends, what I'm gonna do first, all right, let's just plot uh, Usain's or Bolt's uh, time first. He did it in a quicker time. So from zero coming out here, somewhere here, let's say I would have my nine point my 9.76 seconds okay and Asafa did it in a slower time okay so he would be somewhere out here he took a longer time to complete the same journey so basically he would be somewhere out there and that's a 9.91 seconds now basically both men ran 100 meters so the distance that both men traveled it's an equal distance all right so for example to to draw Bolt's graph and I'll be drawing some straight lines to represent this these distances to draw Bolt's graph I would I would position myself on the x-axis at his time and I'm simply going straight up to where this line would intersect with my 100 meter there okay so right about there so that point okay would represent so I'm going just going to connect my line segment now from the origin which is zero and I'm going straight oops my bad that's a ugly line my friends let's try again I'm coming from the origin and I'm going straight up to that point okay and bear in mind these should be straight lines okay all right so next let's just quickly do the same for Asafa and just graph his journey so I would come at 9.91 and I'm going straight up from my x-axis to the line to where this would intersect with the hundred meters okay because that's the distance he would have traveled okay so right there I would have a point there then I'm just gonna do I'm gonna be doing the same thing I'm just gonna draw my line and this should be a straight line so if you're trying this at home you could always use your rule to get it more accurate than I did okay so these assuming that these are straight lines now quickly let's get into it now to calculate their average speed and average average speed 
is equal to the gradient of a line okay the gradient of a straight line okay so for, for those persons who may not be familiar with uh, with this um, what we're speaking about the gradient it's really the up over the across all right and what do I mean by that say for example for bolt let's let's deal with bolt. let's calculate bolts average speed first so let's just write just let's just make some note this is bolts bolts journey that represents bolt race and the, in red here we would have Powell's race okay so that's Powell's race now basically to calculate the gradient of the line that represents bolt race basically what I would have to do I would have to draw what I'm gonna have to do I will, I will have to connect this point on my x-axis so it's as if I'm forming a right angle triangle okay guys so I'm coming straight down to my to my x-axis so basically this distance here this distance here the vertical distance that would be my up distance okay and the horizontal distance the, on the x-axis would be my across distance across okay so basically what is happening you, you are saying to calculate the gradient of a straight line for, for example in some books you may see some fancy definition as the change in y over the change in x okay now please do not let these these fancy notations throw you off when calculating the gradient of a line it is the same as the up the up means the y value and if you notice from the x-axis going up to this point here that would be my y value so basically in this case they run a hundred meters so my y value I've went up from zero here and I stopped at a hundred so that would be a hundred divided by and my x value which is the across value for bolt this would be zero to nine point seven six and this is a hundred meters my friends and this would be nine point seven six seconds so basically what we are saying he ran 100 meters in 9.76 seconds so for bolts average speed so my friends 100 meters divided by 9.76 seconds uh, we would get for example that would be work out to be 10 10.25 and this is correct to the nearest hundredth okay or two decimal places meters per second so what we're saying here for every second bolt is running 10.25 meters okay so let's quickly look at asafa's average speed let's let's do it on this side my friends so average speed now for asafa let's compare both men so his average speed would be equal to and i'm just gonna keep it short now it's the up over his across okay and that's the same as calculating the gradient of a straight line the gradient of a straight line is the up over the across so let's do that for a sapphire. now the red line if you notice I have Powell there that would represent uh, his his journey uh, or his race so basically what I'm going to do again from this point here I am going to form a right angle triangle by coming down on my x-axis to where to, to that point you notice that's basically a right angle triangle again this would be the up distance okay over his across remember the x value is the across now my friends if you notice again he traveled a hundred meters my, my friends Asafa traveled a hundred meters so in this case a hundred is constant so the up if you notice from zero up on my y-axis that went up to a hundred so I would my up value would be a hundred and that is being divided by the across value and uh, and obviously he did it in 9.9 .9 seconds approximately so this is a hundred meters again divided by 9.91 .9 seconds he did it in nine and this is equal to ten point 10.0909 meters per second okay so what this is saying my friends a safa in each second is running 10.09 meters okay and by definition by comparison rather um, bolt obviously is running uh, more meters per second than a safa you can see it very clear here okay now 
uh, let's look at making some quick comparisons. What if you should ask yourself, well then, in terms of their average speed, how fast is Bolt going? Well, you could just simply find the difference between the average speed. Um, that's pretty interesting. So basically, you would find the difference, okay? The difference. And the word difference simply means to subtract. So what you'll do, you take Bolt's average speed, which is 10.25 and you're subtracting a half as average speed which is 10.09 and that would be basically equal to and let's just change the color that would be equal to 0 0.16 approximately 0 0.16 meters per second so on average a uh, bolt is traveling 0 0.16 meters per second faster than Powell in today's uh, Samsung Diamond League in Rome all right now basically my friends that's pretty much it that's how you calculate uh, average speed now if you notice a quick comparison before I end this video that if you notice Bolt's line the, the line that represents uh, the race that Bolt, Bolt ran it's much steeper than the than the line that Asafa that, that represents the race that Asafa ran so what I'm simply saying here my friends is that in when working with a distance times graph the steeper the line is it simply means is that it simply means that it's the faster the object or the particle or in this case it's the faster the person is moving okay now if you notice Asafa's line it it, it, it has a let the slope is not that steep as bold slope now this would suggest that since it's since the slope is not that steep he's moving slower okay and basically um, we, 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 we could uh, come to that conclusion now thanks for watching hope this was useful in helping you to understand understand uh, distance times graph and see you in the other videos. Bye-bye.